Hey, welcome to the last round of this league. Let's see how well we can do. Um, we don't have any of our combo shit here, but we have some interaction and we have a changeling to open up on and then we can maybe brainstorm into some stuff. It's not ideal, but I think this is a keep. On the draw. Alright, but it's starting on the Delta. Um, yeah, we're just going to run into days here. But I don't think I'm going to run into Wastelands. I'm just going to get myself a basic and run the changeling out there. I then don't care about this one too much, since I do have to draw it over in the midfield as well, but and no payoff or black sources. So. Let's see how that goes. <laughs> Truly getting punished for running a couple of off-cover lands, but or non-color lands in the case of Mutiful. Islands, so probably a combo deck. No, not necessarily anymore. I always, usually when they go, go ugly island, just some random base set island, I'm like, yeah, that's gonna be a combo deck. Usually when they go base set Swamp or Ireland for some recent MTGO releases, it was a combo deck, especially during the SRL days, that's a bit less true now, of course, but let's see what they do here. Most likely, if I don't draw land, I might brainstorm, but I'll most likely, uh, yeah, I don't care about that. There's some, some reason to brainstorm and days there, so that we can use a blue mana for something we find with brainstorm, but I think that's a way too greedy, since we don't really have a payoff for it. Now, of course, we find our payoff, but that's fine. Um, I think we're we're going to plan to play the Dryad over here, and then um, go with the Eureka. Um... Do, 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 do. Let's see. Yes, yeah, so I'm gonna put back the Muta Vault, and I think Yuriko is the card I'm least likely to want to pitch. So, just go with a very awkward dry over here, but Let's see if that does anything. I would just try to interact if they try to remove that. Yeah, especially if it's Liliana. Um, it's actually pretty good reason not to want to daze here, but daze is so good. Since I don't have anything else to do next turn, I may just want to start on forcing. Mm. I really, really need to have my start drawing cards. So. I'm just going to do it like this, and then if they counter back, I will days. But uh, I'm going to far, uh, fall behind on mana already, because of this play. Because I have to uh, return the dry over to my hand. So if I also days there, then I'm just so far behind on mana development. That, uh, I think this is better. Just to get this in there. Try uh, to get some card advantage going. Yeah, sadly, we knew the Mutavolt was there and that we wouldn't get any uh, damage off of that, but at least it's uh, the first card we got out of it. And this is great for us since now we get to use our days at a way better time. isn't too ideal here. Uh, I think before I decide what to do, I'm just going to attack with the Eureka. I'd love to find more ninjas here. So maybe I'm just going to run out the uh, Mutavolt. Um, so the Infiltrator doesn't let us like attack with Mutavolt and cast it next turn. But if we dry it over here, we do go down a lot of lands again, but I think the card advantage is worth it, so I'm just gonna go with it and uh, hope the force of wood is good. 
Um, it's, <laughs> it's a bit of a interesting spot here with the dry dar where it's gusting us so many cards. Is this a plague engineer? No, a deluge. Definitely gonna try and counter that. Uh, with the borrower. So next turn, if we do get this attack in, then we're a bit like insulated against sweepers since we just got a lot of cards back, but still not too happy with all of this. Um, yeah, I can play this. Just gonna attack with both and then uh, draw myself four cards, I believe. Oh, and that's enough for them. Yeah, they had good cards there. I mean, both Liliana's and the uh, sweeper was good. Um, I'm gonna expect that they play some number of striction. Striction. Um, carpet could be good. Fate of Summer definitely seems good. Um, they're blue, so probably Narset. Uh, I don't have a really good read on what they're on. But I think these cards, cards are gonna be good for sure. And maybe the carpet. Um, maybe borrower plus a storm Totsies, and I, I don't think I want to board in the mass vandal blind. Um, I do want to take out the fate push since I think they're pretty controlling, and I'd rather have the birthday case versus the planeswalkers and then just not have the fate push. Um, I think I'm gonna cut a bit on the two for ones, even though they're pretty good for my deck in comparison to other blue decks. As I do get to um, get to draw a lot of cards back if I get get on board, but still think you don't want too many of them. Is so it gonna go down to three? I have to get one more card. Let's see. So we have to three dates and this is still here. Maybe the Baleful Strix just not good enough, or the Borrower. Mm, yeah, that's good. I could see just keeping in a force or even a spell bomb over the borrower, but or even the Tatsis. All the flus at all. Not an option, but Yeah, I don't want to be too clunky, maybe I just do it like this. Mm -hmm. So I expect them to be on Blake Engineers. Maybe me, so I should have to pay to push or the force of will. Yeah. Let's see, let's see. I do like that uh, the Bears of Legera is actually um, decently against Plague Engineer, uh, as it this just survives. Um, though the final ability doesn't actually do anything if they have an Engineer, so maybe it's not ideal. But yeah, I'm going to keep this. Uh, I hope I'm not going to get uh, Totsies on turn 1. But other than that, these both of these cards look to be pretty good against them. And I may actually want to pass with carpet up or with green up. No, let's just carpet here. This does let them play or uh, fetch around it and not get the island here, but I don't think they can get away with uh, not getting any islands for a long time. Um, the card I'm most afraid of here is probably Leovold, since you know, that makes them draw a lot of cards of carpet. And they could also just uh, fade to push it here, but that's fine with me. No, and then I trade a one mana for their two. Or, okay, they, they're just gonna ignore the carpet. That's fine. Yeah, should have kept the Fate of Summer up. Didn't do it. Um, yes, I'm just gonna take, get a black here and play out the Belfast Strix and hope we get in with the uh, Infiltrator. Um. 
Ooh, mana. And that does mean I get to play my infiltrator if they uh, don't do anything useful here. There's the Plague Engineer. I hope it's going on birds, or at least I, uh, they don't mess up the rest of my deck. And I only have one bird in my deck, so. But it's definitely rough. Nonsense. Um, yeah. I do. Now the question is, do I not set and just let it get hit down to one by, by the Plague Engineer? Or do I jam the Infiltrator? I think I'd rather get the Narset down here. Because the Infiltrator isn't attacking through that anyway. <laughs> and we miss. Uh, and there goes our value. Yeah, Plague Engineer is definitely good against the Ninjas deck, but at least it's not a ninja yet. Marsh it down to one. Another land, that's definitely rough for us. At least now, if they attack that, they don't have to block up for it. But. And it's expensive enough that it doesn't get a rope decade. <laughs> but then, uh, then, of course, they can have rope decade in Arsh if they want to unlock their can troops. But I think that's definitely an upside for it. The question is whether I block if they attack. I do think Narsh is very good in these kinds of matchups, so there's a reason not to. But uh, I really need to get something going with guards because I don't have anything uh, to do here. So the question here is, do I trade or not? The, the, the issue is if they get something like a... Uh, um, like a beautiful strict down can be rough. I could just get my dry darber here and jump for a turn and then that threatens to get in with this while still keeping Narset alive. I think because I have as many lands as I have, that's fine. It's not great, but... Let's hope I find a brainstorm or something. Yeah, so that bounces the Infiltrator, I guess. Now I wish I had the dry tower, <laughs> so I could get in with it, but, yeah. Um, I'm gonna add myself to blue. Play a land and play this from... This mana, sadly I don't keep, get to keep a force of negation, but... Uh, and I am gonna lose Narset this turn. But that does mean they have to bounce first, so at least they don't get to bring some with Jace on the same turn. But it's definitely not great. And it got really punished for the Dry Darwar scenario, of course. Maybe it would have been better just to block here or something like that. In either case, I don't have too much to go with. Just have to hope that they are also holding a bunch of nonsense. That, uh, I draw stuff that does something. Yeah, that's uh, another legacy card, but people have been trying it. Um, yeah. It's going to be a rough game. We're basically the tempo deck here, <laughs> and uh, we haven't been able to do anything tempo-ish or get through with anything. So, and that just means that our cards are a lot weaker than theirs. Yep, you've got it.
it targeted to him. So I can either keep a land in my hand or keep these in crack. Um, yeah, I'll just do this. Since I'm losing brainstorm value anyway by not having the fact land in my hand anymore. I think uh, this is just better and just hope we don't draw as many lands anymore. It could of course just fail here, but yeah, that's fine. on the bottom well, maybe I still can, uh, I'm still able to draw something good then yeah and now we're really running out of good cards to draw yeah they win this that was rough we didn't really have a tempo plan going and uh, they just ran away with it um, do I want to change anything based on that? There's a chance I just want more fatal pushes because they showed me both Jace and well, I knew they had engineer. That was basically a given. Um, but maybe if I'm on the play, I like running an additional Totsies. Uh, maybe just still keep the fatal push out of there though. Yeah, though I haven't been too much, too big of a fan of Totsies, just in general against them. I just want to use my mana to play uh, ninjas. So. No, those are ninjas. Um, I'll keep this. It's not great, but at least if I draw one of the payoff ninjas now or the bears, it's good. So. Um, I do think I want to Totsies them on turn 1, mostly based on the fact that they can, uh, can uh, fade off some red, and I don't have any payoff for it for my uh, changelings yet, so just do it like this, see what they have, Plague Engineer built strict Totsies, so I'm definitely taking their Plague Engineer, so that's uh, really punching for my double outcast draw. Now they're probably tossing me back and taking my Plague Engineer, would be my guess. They showed us uh, quite a few good answers to multiple 1-1s, one -one, so... They could be too afraid of me having two of these and that if I do get a payoff that it just goes way too hard, but... All right. <laughs> Never didn't have it. Uh, I am gonna get a basic here. I haven't seen wastelands from them yet, and I think there's a chance that they just have like a back to basics in their deck since they did get a lot of basics. And if they do play the build structure, I'm just going to engineer it. Not that it does much since it's not uh, blocking these anyway, but... It uh, uh, insulates it from uh, discard spells. Um, now that I drew this, uh, I think it's better to just brainstorm here and try to hit on ninjas. We missed. <laughs> That's sad. Um, could go all, all in on drawing a payoff eventually and just take them with the change thing or I could just fetch it that way as I already have two ninjas just keep the decay around yeah that's probably the wise way to do it probably not the right way to do it no <laughs> I think that this is a lot better than uh, keeping the third one when ninja and red and getting blown out even more So 
so that they find a second engineer and am I just screwed? It's a Leovold, not great, but um, at least the, um, the legendary ninja, Eureka, uh, actually draws cards through Leovold. But um, I think I have to keep the payoff of drawing the other ninja open. The, uh, what's it called? Infiltrator. Which means I should just uh, decay it here now. That's not great. They actually played a land I didn't see yet. So I know they still have three lands in their hand. Is that right? Yeah, seems so. Oh, no, they did play the Underground Sea. They also played the Misty Wild in the leagues. Um, yeah, I know they have discard spells in their deck, so I'm just going to run it out. And just F6 here. Hope they don't punish me before I find a payoff. Basically the name of the game here. Baz. Mm, yeah, that means I'm not gonna attack here. I'm just gonna jam with everything. Don't even have to be afraid of the streaks. Just snap cast on mage basically. They don't have any instance, so I think that's fine here. Yeah, I don't really care about that. I think there's a decent chance that chance this gets countered, but I'm still gonna play it. I mean. The bears, the bears are coming. Let's see if we can do the thing. We basically need them to not have something like Plague Engineer. Here. Five mana? No, second green maybe for something? Is this where they start using their targeted removal spells on these? They have a lot of cards in hand, so that could be the case. Ooh, they do have the Liliana. Do they have the sixth land? That would be rough. I guess they do. Oh, they don't. Oh, then, then they're just dead. But I, I did get to show off this league what, uh, what bears can do then. Uh, yeah. Hi there. <laughs> How are you doing? <laughs> yeah, we got to do the thing. <laughs> okay, um... That was a really, really rough league, but uh, um, I think we lost a couple of good matchups. Uh, we lost twice to combo, and we lost to Dead Shadow, which I don't think Dead Shadow is that good for us. Also, not that bad, but they're basically just a more efficient version of what we're trying to do. There's a blue black uh, tempo deck, but um. I think um, I had fun, even though some of the games were really rough, but uh, yeah, 2-3 is not really what I was going for. Uh, where's the deck, where's the deck, where's the deck going here? I think um, while the Dried Arbor was good here and there, since it does give you an out if you need it, um, it also was very clunky, like getting the Dried Arbor and bouncing it and playing it again, bouncing it again. It wasn't ideal, but also not the worst. Um, I do think that not having the ornithopters, uh, the four ornithopters here, 
um, made the whole plan a lot clunkier since you can't cantrip into the ornithopters or just play it for free while you do other stuff. Uh, that also made cards like Totsies worse. Um, also made cards like Days a bit worse, though th those are also still bad with ornithopters if you want to curve out into uh, Eureka or Infiltrate. Um, there were two matches we resolved um, Bears of Ligera, and both times it was great. Uh, it was the first round against uh, Sho, where it just put a lot of pressure on them, and here in this last round it just made a lot of power. Um, yeah, I think there's something to this. Um, I haven't really played with ninjas before this, so probably made a bunch of mistakes even that I didn't know, and I, a few I, I, I did notice. Um, but I always thought it was better than I gave it credit for because I was always playing against it with a bunch of lightning bolts and all the ninja, all the payoff ninjas just died to one mana spells. And I had a lot of them because since I, I was usually playing against it with blue red. Um, that being said, it's just clunky. And like I said, some of that is because I play these one drops over only top there's some of that because I play more tree drops over the one drop artifact. Um, but I do like what this does as, in terms of power level for the deck. Um, but I'm not sure the Dried Arbor fit there. There was a last minute addition by, uh, I did. And other than that, it, it felt decent. It, it did what I wanted it to do. And we went 2 and 3, which is not something I'm happy with. But um, we got to play some fun games and... Uh, this is definitely something I, uh, if, if you want to play a fun variant on, on some tempo deck or for a fun variant of ninjas, if you were already playing this, I definitely recommend checking this out and just trying if this uh, does anything for you. Uh, probably because the deck felt very clunky to me, so probably just worse than the Ornithopter version. But I, I really didn't like the Ornithopter version. Um, yeah, I, I'm not sure. Um, I guess, yeah, uh, Plague Engineer is also good against Eureka, uh, but not necessarily against Infiltrator, so I guess that Ornithopter and Infiltrator do get through Plague Engineer, while these clearly don't, since now all of my enablers die to, uh, to the Engineer. Um, I do get a bit more safe removal in here, but I'm not sure that's enough. Um, anyway, <laughs> I did think it was a fun league, and uh, thank you for watching, and I hope... Uh, you check back in with me again and hopefully next time i'll uh, get to win a, a few more matches but uh, that was definitely fun so thanks